Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Fulgora, where our Space Age playthrough has taken an exciting turn. Um, it's pretty awesome. So, yeah, in the last episode, we flew here. Our space station is struggling along because it doesn't have enough power. Um, I didn't really get enough solar panels. I guess we have a few more already on here, so we can do a little bit better. As long- I think we're getting enough ammo to protect it. That's the main thing. The other question I have is now that we're stopped, can- can medium and big asteroids come from this, like, back? Or does- that would be kind of annoying because it's like most of the time you just need guns forwards, but given I don't see any back here, I think we're okay. But, anyway, all that to say, we uh, we placed our landing pad next to this little lightning attractor just so that I can get stuff into our inventory safely. So what I want to get are some inserters, some belts, um, some substations and power poles, panels and accumulators, some drills, assembler, I mean, really most of this, right? All the circuits. Why is it not? Is it just slow as heck? I thought these ones also helped. Do they not? Oh. Oh, it does it all at once. Oh, okay. Um, and then... We already have a bunch of gears. Probably don't need repair packs right now. And then I don't need train stuff right now. Maybe big pull. No, I don't need big pulls. Okay. So now I can grab all this. We've got a few things in the old inventory. Kind of want to get a radar going, but power's tough. I should probably just make oil power. What's the easiest way to do that? Wait, can we make oil power? No, we would need water. There's no water here. Because that would be steam power. So really, it is about these lightning attractor things. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, radar. Because we want a good spot for... Oh, you know, I should have brought a couple uncommon radars. I didn't think about that. Didn't think about that. Is there a way to see lightning tower coverage while building? I don't know. I don't think so. I think you have to mouse over a lightning attractor to see. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, it's these corners. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll get the corner reinforced a bit here. Um. Alright, so... I need, like, a lot of solar panels for this. Maybe I should have brought more than 50. I like don't even know what to do. I, I'm frozen. I'm frozen right now. I have no idea what we should be doing. Um, well, let's look at what, what do we need to make the recycler. So the recycler needs processing units, iron gears, concrete, and steel plates. So the problem is, concrete is not something we brought, is it now? It is not. Well... That is a problem. Um, so we're gonna need to make some concrete. 
We also want the lightning doodad. But we can't do that. Oh, a lightning collector is different than a lightning rod. Can I already make lightning rods? Ah, what am I doing? Lightning rod. Oh, oh, we could have crafted a bunch and brought them. I didn't realize that. Okay. I see. Can I handcraft some? I need stone brick. Okay, since we need stone brick... Uh, let's see, I need solid fuel. It might be easier to make solid fuel from heavy oil than using solar power. Uh, you can't craft them on Navis. Crafted on Fulgora. You're right, you need a magnetic field to craft them. Interesting. <sighs> I should have brought some steel furnaces too. Okay. There's a lot of things we should have done, but it's too late. Um, can I make an offshore pump? No, I need iron plates. I do have iron plates. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I grab my bots and repair packs. There's concrete in the scrap? Oh, you mean in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do know that. Um, if you hand mine scrap... Whoa, it hand mines quickly. Look at that. Um, yeah, I really should have brought concrete. That was the mistake. All right, well, there you go. Now you know. Bring concrete. Next time. Um... That's not even gonna help me yet. Okay, hold on. We're thinking, we're thinking. So, I already have some... No, we don't. Furnaces. So we'll need to run some furnaces. Oh, I can recycle scrap in my inventory. That's good to know. Oh. Oh, okay, well that changes things. Did they tell me that? Did they tell me that? Hmm. I feel like that could be handy to tell the player. Tell the player they can hand recycle. It's a pretty huge detail that the player can hand recycle scrap, and I did not. They told you when you researched the recycling tech, did they now? Not really. No, no, they didn't tell me that. Um, you unlock scrap recycling, but for all you know, this is the... Like, it's not immediately clear that this can be handcrafted. Um, you, you might wonder if it could be handcrafted, and then you go look for it. But my point is that they're not... It, that's a very important detail that changes a lot of things for people, and it, I think it should be clear somewhere. They should say, the player can hand recycle scrap. So, uh, and some tip somewhere. Player can hand recycle scrap. It was not immediately clear to me until someone in chat pointed it out that I can hand recycle scrap. I would have assumed you can't actually. So I think 
it would be good to mention it in a in the Fulgora tips and tricks briefing. Okay. So yeah, that's going to give us access to ice, a very small amount. Enough for power maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Um and some concrete. Cool. So what all are we getting? Where is this recipe? We're getting stone. Well, we already have stone and steel, so those are kind of a low priority, but we're getting blue and red chips. We're getting some holmium, some more gears, which we already have, and some, some copper cable, which we already have. So this is mostly just for the concrete, and I guess batteries and ice. Yeah, exactly. The water, the ratio is good for water to steam now. So that's why I'm wondering if this is enough to actually help power things. And one water makes, or one ice makes 20 water, which makes 200 steam. Uh, how much power is 200 steam? In a non-nuclear setting. Where's the steam turbine? Here. So 30 steam is 900 kilojoules so 200 steam well that makes 60 20 steam is 600 kilojoules so 200 steam is enough to run one of these for only 10 seconds so each ice is like 10 seconds worth of a steam engine running not quite interesting uh I mean, there's no reason not to use the ice that way. I don't think. Let me bring, oh no, I already have the chem plants, okay. So, I want some, I should have uh, brought more efficiency modules. Cause we're gonna be using these everywhere for now. All right, so I, I'm not quite keeping up with all of the comments, but even just, scanning some of them they're still they're still trending towards extremely back cd <laughs> so again like i give give me a few minutes to play around with stuff and figure stuff out if there's something i'm not seeing that's okay you can let me not see it for a minute um now i will need what was the recycler recipe again Uh, I can make one. All right, let's make one. Our first recycler. Ooh, it's skinny. Two by four. Very odd shape. Very odd shape. Oh, and look at all that. It's got all the trash slots ready to go. All right. You guys don't have to be sorry. Just, you know, I'm just reminding you that it's, it's very easy to want to backseat in a situation like this because everybody's excited. So I get it. All right, I mean, there's not much of a point to doing this as far as I can tell because it's the same recipe I can already handcraft. So instead, what I want to be doing is recycling the steel itself and then we're going to get iron plates back. Now, I probably should do that. I mean, three is enough. Wait, what? Why did that give me steel back? Am I... Interesting. Okay, gears should work though, right? Yeah, okay, gears work. It's interesting that you... So smelting cannot be undone. Yeah, you cannot undo furnacing. Only assembling. Cool. Yeah, you can't uncook things. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. It's just, you know, when you're thinking recycling undoes things, you, you think steel goes to iron until you think about it more. 
Okay, so there's our iron supply. Let's get a drill. Well, no, 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 hold on. Ah, there's so many things I want to do. Okay, 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 okay. First, we need to get a steam engine and a boiler. So we can at least use the ice to get some power going here. It may not be enough, but it's something. Um, so we can throw a boiler. Is that in the radius? Yeah. Throw a boiler there. Throw a steam engine there. Uh, I need to craft some pipes. And then we can do that. And then we can throw the solid fuel in there. The lightning strikes are a little loud. Like, just that sound in particular is very loud. Um, I'm curious which sound... Is it ambient? Is it... The problem is I don't really want to change the audio balance, it's just that the lightning strikes themselves are so loud it kind of... like can't hear anything else over it. Actual thunder is loud. Yes, yes, it is, but... In this case, I'm playing a game not existing in the real world. Um environment but that sounds of machines and vehicles i don't want those to go down so if that's what it is that's kind of frustrating and i will i will definitely download a mod that decreases you know lightning strike noises um if that's what it is i don't actually know uh, okay, so we're gonna need more ice, we need more scrap, we need more everything. So let's get some scrap mining automated. Scrap mining's fast, right? Is it faster? Yeah, the mining time is half. But mine's twice as fast. Yeah, the fact that your machine sounds is titled environment definitely is a, a little wonky. This is also not going to be the location for our final base, I will point out. I just... Like, this is a much better place to build. Obviously. I just wanted to get stuff started somewhere where we had a lightning... attractor. Yeah, what, is, what does the Recycler do with stone? It just gives you a chance to get stone back. So that's... So you can... You can get quality stone that way. You can do a quality stone loop. Interesting. Um, keep going here with hand recycling. Because it's free energy. It's free real estate. And then... I don't even know. I don't know how to play this game anymore. I feel so lost. It's so fun. I need to just, like, sit in the newness for a minute and appreciate it. It really feels like when I got the demo for Factorio and I'm like, Oh, I can put... I can put iron in a furnace and then I can get more... More iron plates to make another burner drill? How cool is that? Like, it feels like that moment again, you know? Can you set the recipe of a recycler? There's a question. No. No, you can't connect them to wires at all, even. So, actually, no. We don't... We want to do this. The red circuits are the ones we're going to have a lot of. I don't need plastic, though, so there's not much of a point to doing that right now. Um, we'll keep doing gears to get some iron. So let me get some belts. This whole area over here is protected. And there's scrap over there. So I might start... Since there's no pollution on Fulgora, it could be cool if it um, showed you the lightning strike coverage with the pollution button. But this feels like a pretty big island. 
for my initial base, at least. The recycler crafting speed is 0.5, which is half. Okay, uh, do I have the bots in my inventory yet? No. We'll grab the rest of our stuff. That should be it. I don't want to deconstruct the lightning doodad. Okay. So we are going to sally forth onto a different island. Here, please tell me there's a break in the cliffs somewhere. No, this is kind of this kind of looks like a spot you could walk down. That's a little misleading. Like that kind of looks like a ramp, but it's really still a cliff. Onwards and upwards. Oh, no, we did get hit amidships. I wonder how that happened. I wonder if it was like coming in at an angle and just barely clipped the back corner. Because the little ones don't do any damage. So that had to have been a medium one that got back there. Interesting. It must have been at a very... I don't even know that how that happens, actually. I might need turrets on the back. What I should maybe do is send it back to sit at Novus, because it'll be safer there. If it's accumulated fuel by now, yeah, it has enough fuel. I'm just going to send it back. Um, it can go chill at Novus. Because we sent stuff down already, and then we can bring more stuff back to me. I don't know why I didn't really... I think I got most of the stuff we needed. It can come back in a few minutes. Turn off automatic. Allow unloading cargo. No, that's fine. Add weight condition. Well, but that'll stop it right now. So... Circuit condition. Um, I'll just do something like this. And then that, that won't trigger. If I do pause thrust and hit play, it goes back to automatic. So, that wouldn't do that. I could also remove Fulgora from the schedule. Yeah, there's about 50 ways to skin that cat. Um, so, I would like a deconstruction planner that blacklists the lightning, Fulgora lightning attractor. Wow. Uh, I guess we can walk over it to pick it up. Well. GG. GG space turret. Or space platform. Uh. Hold on. Create blueprint. <laughs> um, just in case we lose the whole thing. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, it made it to Nevis. Okay, we made it home. Wow. Uh, okay, so yeah, we definitely need more or faster ammo smelting. Am ammo smelting? Iron smelting. And ammo making. I wonder if you could purposely strand a ship between the two? Uh, maybe. I don't, I don't know how all that works. Put in less fuel so it goes slower. I guess that's an idea. What I don't know is if your speed changes how quickly the asteroids come at you or not. The big ones. I don't know if it's related to that or not. <laughs> the SS just good enough. Alright, so... Scrap, scrap. Feels kind of weird that that one's 28 million and these are 100,000. 
those are those are some inconsistent numbers if I've ever seen inconsistent numbers really weird but yeah we'll probably use trains to bring in scrap is my guess so this will kind of be where I build my basic starter base so let's I should have copied what we had before now I have to re redesign it um, so we're gonna do a chem plant with ice melting Is that holmium solution cool into a boiler steam doodad this is where we'll put the rocket fuel The smaller the island is, the more scrap is found. Ah, cool. I do loosely remember that. Okay. All right, we should be able to fit all of our solar panels somewhere in this jumble. Maybe. I probably need to deconstruct the rest of the scrap. But yeah, we're not in a rush. We're gonna take it slow. We took it slow to get here. I'm not gonna rush now, so we'll we'll just hang out and do things. I'm not gonna rush to get the perfect base going or design the perfect blueprints. Now, I presume we need less accumulators now per solar panel, because solar panels do one fifth of what they did before. So yeah, every five solar panels now is one solar panel. That's assuming the day-night ratio is the same and shorter day cycles means less accumulators as well. So we might need like one, one accumulator for every 10 panels or something in that range is gonna be what it is now. Um, let's get scrap go in here and go back to mining. This whole scrap field is protected, which is nice. I will say it's hard to tell what is an actual like I thought this was scrap, but it's not. It's that's decoratives. That's decoratives. That's scrap. That is a little a little hard to see. You know what? Here's a weird quality of light. Wouldn't it be nice if you were holding a mining drill and it highlighted ore patches slightly for you? You know, like a different color highlight than the power network. But Hey, we're here for feedback. A nice QOL would be highlighting or scrap. Similar to how it highlights power coverage, when you hold a miner, it would be nice to highlight ores. The scrap this would be nice on Novus, but I'm particularly feeling the difficulty in seeing exactly where the ore is on Fulgora. Yeah, I mean, you. I'm not talking about finding the scrap patches in general. I'm talking about the in, which individual squares are scrap versus which aren't is more what I'm talking about. Um, let's ignore the boring scrap. We'll go for the higher, higher value scrap here. Okay, so then we're going to use a few of our efficiency modules here. And... Didn't I bring more belts than this? Crap, I must have not. I thought I sent all of them down. I clearly did not. Um, this could be a problem. I'm playing with 200 belts here. Guess we'll have to make more. Oh, 
Okay, so here is the scrap belt. Cool. For now, I'm not gonna sort it. Okay, and then, yeah, so... Power is gonna be a problem. Until we get these things. And we need stone brick. See, it, it's confusing to think about what can and can't be uncrafted now, because it's like, wait, is that in a furnace or in an assembler? Because stone brick turns into concrete. So can we recycle concrete? To make... Well, I guess I need more recyclers first, but... I assume I can. Sushi Planet. Yeah, so this is going to be the Sushi Planet for sure. Um, but I need more stone brick. Right. So let's get a little bit of stone brick going here. I need stone brick to make the stone brick. So yeah, we probably don't need to recycle to get stone. And then while we're thinking about it, this could be a good time for... I mean, honestly, this worked pretty well. The issue was the amount of ammo. So we, we just need more smelters. I even think we probably had enough iron. So I might end up making the platform a little wider to the left, but I won't worry about that until we need to send the ship back over. I will put walls up, just kind of a just in case. No, I won't. Why do I need walls? If I have ammo, I definitely won't need walls. They were demolishing those asteroids. So. All right, so there's lots of stuff. We might actually, we'll be okay on fuel. So the fuel isn't going to be the issue. The issue is going to be the ice. So we'll have to see if the ice will be enough. Um, let's do a basic sorting of all the things. That scrap provides. So we've got blue chips. We've got steel, got stone, maybe I should go in order, maybe that would help my brain. In order of like, frequency. Also the frequency, it almost is triggering to me that this is not in order of frequency. What order even is this? Why is, at first I thought it might be like value of item. But blue chips are more valuable, or uh, low density structures more valuable than red chips. And I, I don't know, this ordering feels very random. It's not alphabetical, it's not by percent, it's not by value of item, it's not even by complexity of item, because stone is above an iron gear. The, the order here feels very random. But I'm gonna go with amount. So we're gonna do gear first. And then comes solid fuel at seven. And then <laughs> the sorting algorithm lives in your head. Um, so solid fuel at seven and then concrete at six. That's actually a lot of solid fuel, so that's kind of nice. Uh, concrete. And then it goes five is ice and only ice. So ice, steel and stone are the same. Oop, wrong control F. Steel and stone. Okay. And then 
Are there any other fours? No, then we're down to three. So then we have advanced circuit, copper cable. Oh, batteries were four? Thank you. I'm glad someone saw that. Uh, stone battery, then red circuit, then copper cable. Wow, there's a lot of things. <laughs> Uh, so that's cable. Yeah, I missed the batteries. Anything else at three? No. And then we have blue chips at two, holmium, and LDS at one. So blue... What are they called? Processing units? I don't think a single human in the history of life has called that thing a processing unit. Um, it's a blue circuit, a blue chip, blues, <laughs> something. But it certainly is not called a processing unit. Uh, there was another two, wasn't there? No? Just LDS and Holmium? No density structure and holmium ore which i don't know if i like that it sh it's like i kind of like that there's a fulgora section here i also kind of don't like that the ore is not with the other ores i'm not sure how i feel about that so wow that's a lot of different items five i mean 12 is 12 the right amount two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yep all right that's it so now we've got all that. And I certainly need more recyclers. Handcraft a few for now. These can handle 2.5 a second, and these mine one per second. Oh, also, can we talk about the fact that these just dump items directly onto the belt? And we don't need inserters to bring items out? That's pretty weird. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing with all this stuff yet, so... Chest it is. The ice, at least, needs to come over, eat into there. Solid fuel can come up here. And can I handcraft some lamps? Can I interest you in a lamp? Use some of our precious kilowatts on being able to see what's going on. Planet junk. Yes, this is planet junk. Alright. So we've got the basics going. Interested to see if it's enough water or not. Um, now, nuclear... Would, is, it, is it feasible to do nuclear on Fulgora? You'd have to bring all of the cells. But, like... That might be feasible. It's in 10 cells per rocket. What about 235? Can you send a lot of 235 in a rocket? 20. That's a lot better than cells. Interesting. Okay, so let's make a few more of these. Feels like we're starting out on Nauvis again. Um, let's do something different, like output priority right. Put this in a chest. That's just a belt. Okay. 
the water is the problem. Um, maybe. Let's let's do some basic math. So, so these mine one scrap per second each, and then one scrap per second is going to get us. I wish they would show the scrap recipe somewhere here. You kind of have to work to get to it. Um, one scrap per second is getting us 0.05 ice per second. But, one ice makes 20 water. So we're basically getting one water per second from each miner. Each miner giving us one water per second is then giving us 10 steam... Well, basically just... 10 steam per second is worth 300 kilowatts. So each miner is supplying up to 300 kilowatts of water, and they're only using 18 kilowatts. So the miner itself is fine. The problem is gonna be these things, which I can't even see the tooltip. They really need to do something about these tooltips. This is not acceptable. Like, I, I'm not even... I'm not even playing a modded game, right? And the tooltip's off the screen. Like, I know I'm blocking some of it, but even if I wasn't, like, I can't even see the whole tooltip. And and I only have two pins over here. Um, oh, I forgot efficiencies. That's part of the problem. What happens if you have a recycler and you drop an efficiency in it? Does it get recycled? No, thankfully. Um, I know there's a way to make it show under my cursor, but I don't really want that either. I'm more getting it like, this is a case where showing the contents and showing the two po the crafting speeds is just making the tooltip so fat. Not to mention the description. I don't know. Because these don't... I guess it does always show the description in the tooltip over to the right. Weirdly, I'm not sure if I like that. The tooltip over here, I don't know if I need the description of something. Um, yeah, so Goy Radio, that's what we're working on. Um, we're working on, we were getting on, working on the stone bricks, and then we got distracted with other stuff. Because these generate electricity. Let's see what these guys are up to. 15 plus lightning reach? What the hell is lightning reach? I don't know what that means. Ooh, ooh. Whoa, what is that? That's... That's some fancy algorithming. Bloop. I don't, I don't know, I don't know uh, why, but this is incredibly satisfying. Bloop. Bloop. <laughs> yeah. Um... So am I safe to basically replace the Fulgora, the Fulgoran? One's efficiency is 0%. The efficiency on these is 20%. I think I'm safe to replace them. Mine uh, are a little bit of a smaller area, but they're also only one by one. And they should convert into energy. Now I'm gonna hate the power network display even more. I feel like I already had some some complaints about the power network display, and now with these changes, it's like gonna be even less helpful to figure out things. With all the different stuff, the Fulgora demands. I like that stuff flashes to show you, hey, it's in danger. I'm in danger! Um Cool. Did I... I can't really tell, actually, if I replaced all of them. Yeah, let's get a little bit more. 
this gun. Get this guy taking less power, so now we're basically using no power. Um, does it show how much is generated per strike? Nope, sure doesn't. I feel like uh, Atumnus, the kilowatt per ice we did, we get 200 kilowatts per scrap mining per second. Um, and this only uses 42 kilojoules to make a lot. So we're good, we're good on the, on that thing. Yeah, I know we're not generating anything now because power satisfied, so will it? Uh, I don't know what to do. Here, let's get some radars going. That'll use some power. And let's cut off water for a moment. I want to see the electricity make my base run. I guess those are going to actually last for a while because these hold 200 water, which is like 2,000 steam. So let's turn those off. So yeah, we can see these, like, generate electricity when they get hit. Oop, there we go. Yoink. Interesting. I really don't feel like it's telling me anything useful. <laughs> I, I feel like it's going to be a very interesting... Like, trying to figure out... How much you actually... Average lightning power density. 29 kilowatts per meter squared. So, I guess we really need tape line. Now we need tape line in the base game. Because without tape line, it's hard to know how big your base is. You have to do some complicated stuff to measure it. Also, it's weird it doesn't show you your power grid. I, it's only showing you one thing at a time. Because you want to make sure it's in your power grid. Most other powered buildings show you the power grid, but these don't. Just build more till it works, exactly. <laughs> I mean, that is kind of the plan for most things in Factorio. So yeah, there is a lot more we're going to need to do, but this is at least getting our basic stuff rolling. Yeah, they are very cheap, thankfully, the lightning rods. Let me make another pile of them. And then... I might need water for something else in the future, but for now this is fine. To make sure we have power. And then yeah, you'll need you'll need some ratio of accumulator compared to average lightning input and then factoring in the variance of lightning will be interesting as well. All right, so what are we doing? We are eventually going to go for this thing. The Electromagnetic Science Pack. But first we're going to need Holmium. And an Electromagnetic Plant. Which is super exciting. We're going to need refined concrete for once. <laughs> um, but first we need Holmium. So I... So much to do. So much to do. I feel like I want to set up almost like a bus. Let's go west here. Now that we have lots of lightning rods, let's get a little blueprint that like... 
connects substations and lightning rods. Because I assume these have enough coverage to do that. the lightning. Very, very frightening. Okay. So let's get some space here. Can I make more substations or are we going to struggle with that? I can. We're good on, we're good on substations. Oh, these cliffs though. These cliffs are not Nauvis cliffs. They are kind of annoying. Can you? I hope you can deconstruct Ogora cliffs with cliff explosives. can't until you unlock them. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so let me think for a moment. We're gonna be recycling a lot of scrap. And then we're gonna have all this crap. Now, the problem is any individual bit of crap can back up. So that means each bit needs its own crap deletion protocol. And then the problem with that is the crap deletion protocol of each bit produces new bits, right? And so some of, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the crap deletion of certain bits to make a certain other bits, but that won't be the same deletion protocol. The crap deletion protocol needs to fully delete all the crap, including the crap that the deletion protocol makes. So, so yeah, exactly. You can recycle everything into nothing eventually. You just keep feeding it back in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have something like this. Time to get out the notepad. Yeah, basically. So we're gonna have something like this. It's, I need, I need high quality substations is what we need. This is too big. And then each of these things is going to have its own little area. Oh, we're going to run out of belts so fast. Okay, so... Oh no, I didn't bring logistics bots. That, that's something that might be worth figuring out here. Um, it still has Fulgora first trip checked. Whoops. Did it request all of those things again? I think it did. Well, now we have a lot more stuff. Um. Yeah, let's work on our, let's work on our rocket here. Our rocket. Our spaceship. I'm going to call it a spaceship. Um, let's work on this just to make it a bit more guaranteed safety. We'll put one on the back here. And then we're gonna need more space. I think we're just gonna need more space in general on the left side here. Because not only do we need more solar, but we're gonna need more um, uh, smelting space. Let's redesign this. I'll go down. You know what? That's still not enough. We'll go even a little f further out. Oh, right, I need to delete those two. Uh, that goes there. Those two. Okay, and then... That'll go straight. Delete this. This should be enough space, I hope. 
Because then we can get multiple smelters on both sides going here. I might even do two assemblers. Now we can do something like this. So hopefully eight smelters is enough. And then two ammo crafters. And then we definitely need more solar power. So I should go roll for some maybe rare, some more uncommon and rare panels. Um, Cause that's certainly a thing that we're gonna need. And then do this. This, this, that. We should, uh, I guess we can just split it right here. Right and left. Underground, that one goes underground to there. Hey, we got to get the name and game uh, stuff going on Fulgora now that we have stone bricks. We can do that. Okay. Is there anything wrong with this that looks terrible? I don't think so. The main issue we were encountering was the slowness of the crushers. We really need two crushers, or three. So uncommon crushers could actually be worth it. Inserters for guns. I guess that might be useful. Um, yeah, and then we need the side turrets on the left. Um. All right, all right, all right. Let's go to Nalvis. And how's the pollution cloud, by the way? Is it shrinking now? Oh yeah, it has shrunk considerably. I mean, we're probably not even like producing much, right? I guess it just ramped up because we um, started making stuff. But. It was, it was just chilling for a while. Oh, nope, that's not where we want to be. Managing what planet you're on is going to be a whole new thing. Okay, so do we have... We have two uncommon crushers. That's actually good. Let's get two, three. Um, these are the wrong quality modules. I can do better. We can do twice as good. 8% chance. There we go. Okay, so let's get to three uncommon crushers. That will make them 30% faster. Also, I just noticed this, y'all. Um, assemblers, I assume all assemblers are like this. The higher quality is faster without consuming more power. Is that true? Yeah. I assumed the consumption would go up too, but it doesn't. So... So yeah, having, okay, there's that third uncommon crusher, perfect. And then, 
Did we have enough uncommon turrets or do I need to roll more of those? Uh, we still have 21, so we're okay on the amount here. And then what else was I gonna do? Solar panels. Solar panels. Yeah, let's keep rolling with those. We can upgrade the, the rate from 2% to 10% here. That's a pretty big difference. Or no, 8%. 2% to 8%, we'll get me a lot more uncommons at least, and some rares. So then we'll go back to the Hendrickson, and we shall request... Um, more uncommon gun turrets. No, not regular. This is all these new interface pieces. It's just there's a lot of places where you can click things wrong. I feel like it's gonna take some getting used to. We'll do something like that. And then we wanted uncommon solar and rare solar. Just a minimum payload of rare solars would be two. Nah, if you don't have four, don't send them up. And then we'll also request rare, or uncommon solar panels. And if you don't have 10, don't bring them up. Okay. Really a bit overwhelming mechanic. You can't even manage one planet base. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's so much to think about now. Um, so much to think about. Why are these all red? Why is nothing on the way? Why are we not even getting our space platform foundation? Oh, that one wasn't set. Okay. So we only had one rocket going, I guess, was the problem. And this one's just a little slow. Okay, okay so that should help. Um, and then did we request? No, there's one more thing we didn't request. It was whatever this was. The crushers. We need the uncommon crushers. Crushers, uncommon. Minimum payload is three. We'll request six. Someday we might have more. Okay, so that'll help with this problem without me having to redesign it. So while we're in motion, we can process the absurd amount of little asteroid bits we're getting. And then those will finish off. Don't need ammo there. And then we'll have plenty of space for good solar. Now with all this room. Uh, our ship will be a bit slower. I'm okay with that. Uh, yes, quality inserters are faster, so that's pretty great. And yeah, let's get let's get some names in brick here, or maybe it'll be concrete. Concrete's what we have a lot of. So we got we got the rewards. So first off was Alor, of course. No surprises there. Um, let's clear out some space. Part of me is wishing I had rolled an uncommon power armor mark too for the inventory bonus. But we'll be okay. But yeah, quality inserters are pretty great. And there's also the whole stack inserter thing that we haven't even started. That's on Gleba. All right, we got Alor, we got Stuwalok. Uh, I'm gonna have to shorten that somehow. We're gonna do a 
S do Oh yeah. Oh yeah, W's W's are the worst. I guess we'll just leave off the number. L O and C. Cool. Alright. Uh, will rocks and trees decon planner work on the stuff? I don't know what they count as. No, they don't. So you're gonna have to find all the Fulgoran entities in here. That is annoying. I, I think there should be a button to deconstruct Fulgoran stuff. Because you'll need to select, what is that, 11 things? I mean, is it that hard to make a single thing that deconstructs 11 different things? No, it's not that bad at the end of the day. So maybe we're fine. You only have to make it once, but it is kind of annoying. All right, Bregs, you're next. And those of you from future YouTube, this is a, a good time to remind you that you can watch on Twitch or on YouTube Live, if you'd like to get your name immortalized in the Space Age base. It's always a good time. Um, let's see. E. G's are always weird. I think we've gone with that. And S, S. Okay, and then finally we got Zekula up here. Oops. X. E. I don't have a K. K is very similar to X. O. L. A. Perfect. All right, these are the immortal names in the base of Fulgora to begin. I'm sure more will be added. So why is the Hendrickson still unhappy? By now, it certainly should have gotten plenty of space platform. Oh, I just didn't actually. OK, I see. I couldn't see that there were little holes there. There we go. Hey, thanks for the prime subs. Yeah, I don't have an alphabet, alphabet book because it's actually kind of fun to do all that. Sweet. Okay, so now we should have a well-defended thing. We got some rares here. Rares are... Are they twice as good? No, not quite twice as good. They're 60% better. So two of them is basically equal to three normals. That's all we get are as regular panels, or high quality panels. But we can build a lot more. And then a few accumulators. I think we removed the ones we had. Yeah. We'll fit them in wherever they fit. We can always do super force build spots, but that should be enough. Beautiful jank. Alright, so what do we need to bring from home? It needs a butt turret. I think these are butt turret enough. Technically, it can only get hit if we uh, get an asteroid right up the middle. <laughs> uh, so we should be okay. <laughs> uh, I think we'll be okay. Also, Matt... Um, is the YouTube chat busted again? Is it really? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a new, a new app, I think, for that. Um, but you're saying, do the scrap piles show up, like, ore deposits? Yeah, we can search for scrap here and find the different... Oh, there's a 10 million. That's pretty good. 
21 million. Okay, so we should be good on scrap. The problem is the rate, right? These are such tiny piles that you're going to you're going to like beacon your miners and it's still going to be um like too slow. So you're going to need to go get multiples. Um which is interesting. Also, Matt, you did ask me a question I didn't answer earlier. Uh, you did ask me if I had attended the private land party for Space Age. I did not. Um, I was invited, but I couldn't go because of financial reasons, and it would have been a lot of fun, but I also kind of like that I ended up not getting spoiled at all for playing the game, so I'm getting to experience it all fresh on stream, which is kind of fun. So. Salt Shaker, I am certainly interested in making a Make Anything machine. I just am not going to do it yet. I'll probably wait until we have um, a, a planet or two under our belts. Yeah, I'm certainly excited by the prospect. But So yeah, basically we're going to provide these things off to the base, but we're going to output priority left, and if we have extra... We bring it over here, and then it goes into the recycling death loop. So the recycling death loop says, kill all items. So can we talk about how those modules look very red for a minute there, uh, in the ghost? Like, like right there, those look like production or productivity modules. Those do not look like efficiency modules. It's very interesting. Um, so this is just going to be the death loop. This is all we need to do. Um, should we make it extensible? Maybe. So like this. Super force build is beautiful. Um, so maybe something like this. And then we can extend it forwards. And then I'm going to need one of these for every every setup. A death loop with quality modules would be pointless. Oh, can you just Are you saying this kind of thing? I, that could create problems, but it might work. I don't know. I'm not going to try it here. We're going to just let it loop properly. The reason I'm not doing any upgrading here is because when I'm wanting stuff like iron, that's a whole separate process. So so this is like the last ditch. I've already done all the iron processing I want to do with my gears. And we're still backing up on gears. Then it's going to kill them. So, so I do want to... This is like the last ditch, kill it for sure. You know, kill it with fire type setup. The problem is it's going to take up way too much space here. Um, but I want to build it right, so we will. I'm going to run out of belts super fast. We need to automate belts here on Fulgora. Um, I mean, I'm going to need 12 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Maybe, maybe I do six with space in between them. Hmm. Like, like I do one here and then I do Another one right underneath. Problem is it makes it less extendable, but I think I'm gonna have to live with that. Um, so like this one will come up. And then I have at least a little bit of room to extend it. And now I've got two belts of stuff. Oh my god, Zekola. You're right. 
I could just send them all to the same one. <laughs> you, oh yeah, and penultimate, you're saying the same thing. You know, look, this is backseating, and you guys could have just let me gone with this completely asinine build, and it would have been amazing to watch me do that. But at the same time, that is a pretty ridiculous thing for me to not do. So, I accept. I accept this level of backseating. Okay. Yeah, this is this is a lot simpler. I probably would have gotten there eventually. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Um, okay, so then all of these are just gonna need a quality or a uh, thing to the left. And then this is going to come up. Like this. Okay. There we go. Why isn't it working? <laughs> Sound of barely contained backseating. Yeah, yeah, you guys will live. So, bring lots more blue belts. Is on the list. Probably automate blue belts. Oh, logistic spots. That was like the whole thing I wanted to bring. That was how we started all of this, the last half hour of whatever I was doing. Uh, is I wanted to bring logistic spots so that I could automate blue belts more easily. Um, let's bring 300. Now, I should look at robot energy usage is the same, so I don't need to worry about that. Also, Conblem, you can, yes, you can add your minor back soon. Point, whatever it is. For the most part, with backseating, I'm, I, I'm happy to just ignore whatever chat is saying and and not be too worried about it you know when i was working on the space platform and you guys couldn't help yourselves that that you know that's a little much because it's like okay we're doing something new here. but i also like to learn together with twitch chat and it's not like i don't know there are some streamers who are like so against backseating that they won't even like i don't know i like to receive recommendations from time to time is what i'll say Currently prioritizing via sideloading new things to get deleted over the output of the recyclers. Um, that's only a problem if I'm too slow. So that, that shouldn't be an issue. Also, we're actually prioritizing neither. We're gonna on both lanes. The old stuff will be on the top lane, the new, but I'm just expecting to not need more than uh, 22 and a half a second right now. And I'm expecting these to be able to handle all of the recycling input. One thing that's interesting is different things recycle at different speeds. And does it tell you what speed stuff recycles in? Is it a multiplier of its crafting time? I am a little curious about that. But... But yeah, so that's all good to go. We need to bring bots. Is there anything else we really need to bring? with us here that we totally forgot. I might bring more than 10 robo ports now that we're bringing some bots. Um, bring those. Didn't really need the tank after all. And I think. We've got a lot of belts. Enough to certainly automate more. Oh, I need the, the chests. That should help. 
Um, any other ideas on what to take for trip number two? Also, it's not a bad idea. I could buffer a lot more ammo on the belts if I used both sides. Is there an easy way for me to do that? In the space we have here? Just put a light on every single one of these. Uh oh. Wait, we're out of power? No, those are just disconnected. There we go. Look at all these blue chips. Chromium ore. Gosh, this is just so different. I love it. I love it. Yeah, gears are certainly going to be the thing we back up on first. Um, let's try, let's try something here. Just, you guys were wondering about the recycler loop here. So if we were to say, if gears is greater than uh, 3,000. <laughs> really? I need one more belt. Um, it seems to not work. It would only work if you weren't feeding the initial recyclers very quickly. Like, you would need some sort of condition that, like, Oh, and you can't wait for inaction. So. Yeah. Put one more in the chain. I mean, we could, yeah. Because in this case... But no, the other one will still make iron, we'll just make iron. So, like, obviously, if we're just feeding it once in a while, it should work. Like, if we stop feeding it then it should work. Because then it'll just loop iron back and forth. Um, so it's fine if you're not overloading it, I guess is what we'd say. It will not unsmelt the plates into iron ore, it just keeps sending back um, iron plates. So are we good on this? Does anyone have any final thoughts? You guys love to backseat, you know, here's your chance. Ooh, look at all these, all these chickens. Uncommon solar panels galore here. Turn left. Oh, man. Alright. I think this is okay. I'm a little concerned about the overall grabby rate. We might need more grabbies at some point, but... We should be protected. Pretty well. We have a lot of ammo buffered. More than last time. We have. Oh, I didn't do the faster crushers. Uh, let's upgrade those. We have crushers that are 30% faster. We're smelting more than double. Um, we've got all the fuel already back. We already know that this gets us to Fulgora. Although we weigh more than last time. So, we're gonna travel a little bit slower. Uh, Mega Man asks an interesting question. Can I just... I mean, you could just do this. 
but you can't belt into the recyclers, right? I'm pretty sure you have to insert into the recyclers. Yeah, yeah. They don't have a belt input, just a belt output. Um, okay, so let's send the Hendrickson Fulgora. Can you copy? It'd be nice if you could pipette conditions. Because you can drag them up. I thought you could drag these around. Wait. No. Maybe you can't. If I had another one, you can drag them around. Pipetting that would be cool. If the plateau edge circuit signal is greater than zero, you can automatically leave. All right, here we go. And we'll have to call this the end of the YouTube episode after after we get there, because we're an hour and 25 minutes in for that. Classic. All right, here we go. Hundred and thirteen kilometers a second. I am curious what the calculations all work out to. Yeah, between our damage upgrades and shooting speed upgrades, we are kind of just melting the asteroids. Slower is a bit safer. That's true. Hey, this is the SS more than good enough. Because <laughs> the, if the last one was the SS good enough, this is more than that. It is the more than good enough. Oh, this is neat. This is neat. And the ammo is not quite keeping up, um, but it certainly is doing a better job than last time. damage are these doing? Oh my gosh, 20, 24.2 damage. Also, the thrusters just look so cool when they're going. Um, also, we kept a lot more oxidizer and fuel in our tanks than last time. Interesting. I guess water is the problem, but water makes both. So was it prioritizing the oxidizer? of where water is it's closer i don't know or maybe we just didn't have as much carbon but yeah that trip went a lot better that trip went a lot better cool and power wise we i think are still doing better um Yeah, the accumulator charge didn't drop at all, so. That means we had enough power. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, now we can send stuff down to the planet. Uh, I haven't built my new cargo pad. Let's build that over here. Somewhere with some space. Um... And then just make sure we're lightning protected here. And now we can send down express belts, more long inserters, some more stack inserters, some big poles, some random pipes. Why not pumps? It's gonna take a second because this has to receive one before it can get the next one. If I built one of those hub pieces, we could extend it. But. but yeah, I think we'll call that... Yeah, we can extend with a couple of those. I think we'll call that an episode. So for those of you future YouTubians watching, as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I will see you all in the next